you're doing well. We were learning the Protable and now it's the last lecture of Protable and that is uh, we were learning hello. Okay, I'm going to flow in the flow, because it's very important. It requires a flow of understanding. Right? And in the halogens, we have learned the reactions with hel uh, of halogens. First was reaction with metals and second was displacement and both were examples of redox. Just for your information, uh, I must tell you that okay, these halogens also have the ability to react with hydrogen. Right? Let's say for example, hydrogen reacts with chlorine. It's a very exothermic reaction and the energy is released. It's exothermic. HCl gas. By the way, it's hydrogen chloride or aapko iske white fumes. Dikhte hai. It has actually white fumes. Or if you add HCl gas ko paani mein kare, to it forms hydrochloric acid. Right? So all the all elements of this group 7, I mean all halogens, react with hydrogen and give you respective hydrogen halide. So HCl, HBr, HI, HF. They are called as hydrides of halogens. So uh, HF, HCl, HBr, HI, they are called as hydrides of halogens. Just like this. Okay, one more thing, one more thing, please. You have that HCl, HBr, HI. These are all white fumes. Hai. Please, they all are white fumes. So hydrogen react with chlorine. Se degi HCl gas. Hydrogen react with bromine. Degi HBr gas. Hydrogen react with iodine. Degi degi HI gas. They all are white fumes, right? So it's hydrogen chloride, hydrogen bromide, hydrogen iodide. Let's say for example. Normally I exemplify the reaction with chlorine. Why? Because I mean, the chlorine is the most famous nominal we have in group seven, right? Like it does not mean that ke other elements won't react. The other elements will react exactly in a similar way as chlorine is reacting. Whether it's bromine, iodine, fluorine, or acetine, maybe. Okay. So, like I exemplify the reaction of uh, this, uh, I mean, with hydrogen, so I reacted hydrogen with chlorine. After bromine, so react with iodine, so react with Balancing is the same. white fumes. Nikal Just like there we go. H2O and H2O2 are actually called as hydrides of oxygen. Hydrides of oxygen. Like for example, ammonia and hydrazine are called as hydrides of nitrogen. Our organic chemistry are here. So alkanes, millions of members. Then again, alkenes, alkynes, millions of members. Alkanes, alkene, alkyne family. Ke, they're all hydrides of carbon. Hydrides of carbon. If you exam a question, I which element has the most abundant hydrides? That's carbon. I mean, pure organic of skipper. In fact, I must tell you that these halogens hai, they also have the ability to react with water. Example, chale, uh, let's take Cl2 chlorine plus H2O. It gives you hydrochloric acid plus hypochlorous acid. Right? This is called as hypochlorous acid. Hypochlorous acid. Right? Basically, HClO is actually your bleaching agent. When you Cl2 gas, ko, uh, damp, uh, aap, uh, sorry, jab ye Cl2 gas, when you pass it, this damp blue litmus paper, se, damp blue litmus paper, ke upar se, damp blue litmus, right? So, you have learned, although I have learned, right? So, you might have learned in your schools, right? Though I'll be teaching you soon again that what's the test of Cl2 gas? So, Cl2 gas is a bleaching agent. Right? So normally students think that if we pass CL2 gas pass a damp blue, blue litmus paper, ke se, wo bleach will bleach. No, it first turns red and then it's bleached. Or red ki ho, that you do HCl or bleach ke dir, it's due to you know, HClO. So basically, when we pass CL2 gas, we pass it on 
तो इट टर्न रेड एंड देन इट्स ब्लीच तो आई रिपीट कि वो रेड क्यों हो रहा है ड्यू टू एच सी एल और ब्लीच क्यों हो रहा है ड्यू टू एच सी एल ओ तो वेन क्लोरिन इज पास ओवर डैम ब्लू लिटमस पेपर इट टर्न रेड एंड देन इट्स ब्लीच बट इफ आई पास क्लोरिन गैस ओवर डैम रेड लिटमस पेपर इट्स स्ट्रेट वे ब्लीच ओके बट इट्स वॉट वी लर्न इन दसिड्स बेसिस इन सोल्ट चैप्टर राइट नॉट नाउ it was just for your kind information then guys uh, in this chapter i also want to tell you that ke ye to ke halogens is the inge ions are called as halides right the famous ones we have is a chloride ion bromide Sorry? ion and iodide ion uh bleach means ke colorless ho jana bleach means ke it should turn colorless yani ki agar aap cl2 gas is a bleaching agent aage hum padhenge as a salt chapter mein जब क्लोरीन गैस पास करेंगे लिटमस पेपर के ऊपर से तो वो ब्लीच हो जाएगा इट विल टर्न कर लेस सर इवेंचुअली जी सर आपने HCl के नीचे सॉरी रेड के नीचे आपने HCl के लिखा था 1 सेकंड है तो बेसिकली मैंने ये लिखा था कि जब असल में जब आप क्लोरीन पास करते हैं डैम ब्लू लिटमस पेपर के ऊपर से इट टर्न्स रेड फर्स्ट फॉर अ शॉर्ट वाइल एंड देन इट्स ब्लीचड तो वो रेड पता क्यों होता है क्योंकि क्लोरीन पानी से रिएक्ट करता है जो मैंने ऊपर इक्वेशन लिखी हुई है क्लोरीन पानी से रिएक्ट करके आपको हाइड्रोक्लोरिक प्लस हाइपोक्लोरस देता है वो हाइड्रोक्लोरिक उसको शॉर्ट वाल के लिए रेड करता है लेकिन हाइपोक्लोरस को बाद में ब्लीच कर देता है तो इवेंचुअली इट टर्न्स अ वाइट पेपर ठीक है लेकिन अगर आप क्लोरीन को पास करेंगे लेकिन अगर लेकिन अगर आप क्लोरीन को पास करेंगे वो डैम्प रेड लिटमस तो इट्स ब्लीच स्ट्रेट वे क्योंकि रेड तो रेड था पहले ही उसको तो उसको तो इम्पैक्ट नहीं पड़ेगा तो वो स्ट्रेट में ब्लीच हो जाएगा कैन यू गिव एन अदर एग्जांपल ऑफ याद रखना है लेकिन वैसे बाय दो अगर आप ब्रोमिंग को भी पानी में एड करेंगे वो भी आपको एच बी आर प्लस एच बी आर ओ देगा क्लोरिन एच एफ इज हाइड्राइड ऑफ फ्लोरिन एच टू ओ यू कैन सेट हाइड्राइड ऑफ ऑक्सीजन सी एच फोर इज हाइड्राइड ऑफ कार्बन एल्केस एल्किस एल्काइन अगर आप अब तक ऑर्गेनिक आप ऑफकोर्स पढ़ रहे होंगे आपको सारे पढ़ ली होगी तो एल्केस एल्किस एल्काइन सारे हाइड्रोकार्बन नहीं है सो दे सो इन हम इनको हाइड्राइड ऑफ कार्बन भी कह सकते हैं सर अगर हम क्या कहते हैं क्लोरीन गैस को ब्लू खाली क्लोरीन ग्लास को ब्लू लिटमस पेपर पे डालें तो सीध पहले रेड होएगी या सीधा ही ब्लीच हो जाएगी नहीं अगर आप क्लोरीन गैस को डैम ब्लू लिटमस डालें तो पहले वो रेड होगी डैम ब्लू लिटमस पेपर विल टर्न रेड फर्स्ट एंड देन इट विल बी ब्लीचड लेकिन अगर आप उसको डैम रेड में डालेंगे रेड लिटमस के ऊपर तो फिर वो स्ट्रेट में ब्लीच हो जाएगी ओके सर ओके There we go. Not now. It was just for your kind information. Then, guys, uh, in this chapter, I also want to tell you that that these are halogens. These things, these ions are called as halides, right? The famous ones we have is a chloride ion, bromide ion, and iodide ion. I mean, some salts are in them. Sodium chloride, sodium bromide, sodium iodide salts form. You will see. If you have इन एनाइन को आइडेंटिफाई करना है सो द वेरी फेमस री एजेंट विच वी यूज टू आइडेंटिफाई दी एनाइंस इज एक्वस सिल्वर नाइट्रेट ठीक है एक्वस सिल्वर नाइट्रेट इज द वेरी फेमस री एजेंट यूज टू टू एक्ट टेस्ट फॉर हेलाइट मैं आपको कंप्लीट टेस्ट नहीं पढ़ा रहा जो हम पढ़ेंगे इन द चैप्टर एसिड्स वेस्ट इन सोल्ड लेकिन एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम आई वॉन्ट टू मेक क्लियर इन योर ब्रेन्स 
that if you have test for halidines, you have to use aqueous nitrate. Remember, if a solution contains chloride ions, or you have confirm that there are CL negative ions, then you have to add aqueous AG3. Right? Remember, AG plus ions react with chloride ions and forms AGCL ka white solid. So if the white PPT form, ho jai, that means chloride is confirmed. White precipitate. What is a precipitate? It's an insoluble salt formed after a chemical reaction. What's a PPT means precipitate? What's a precipitate? It's an insoluble salt formed. Insoluble salt formed after a chemical reaction. All right. Similarly, if bromide ions are then AGBR ke white PPT. This is white PPT AGCL. Ke hote ye white PPT AGBR. And if it is iodide, sorry, it is cream PPT. And if it is iodide, it is yellow PPT. And that is of AGI. So if you have tests for the halide ions, you always add aqueous silver nitrate. So please don't forget it, that aqueous silver nitrate is used uh, to test for halide ions, right? So you can uh, write it, okay, aqueous silver nitrate, aqueous silver nitrate is the reagent used to test for halide ions okay so guys this is all for halogens and now let's see transition metals all right is fine here sir ye agno3 ka white precipitate is kaise nahi Deco, let's say for example, if you have a chloride ions in the beaker, in form of any salt, let's say NaCl, then you have chloride ions. So if you have to test that there are chloride ions in it, you add silver nitrate. Silver nitrate reacts with chloride ions. Ag plus ions from silver nitrate reacts with chloride ions in the solution and form AgCl white PPT. So if it becomes white PPT, you conclude that the solution contains chloride ions. For example, in one more solution, if you add silver nitrate and let's say it forms a cream PPT, this means that the solution is bromide ions because this cream PPT is AGBR. If you add silver nitrate in a solution and let's say yellow PPT form, so it means the solution contains iodine because AGI is a yellow PPT. So I told you that in order to test for halide ions, you always use aqueous silver nitrate so you cream ppt yes cream cream off white here cream get the off white get excuse me sir you betcha sir humne reaction with metals ni pada or ni ni abhi ni ni abhi 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 humne padna reactions abhi tumhye kuch aapko information de raha halogens ke baare mein ye sari jo ki pata ni chahi hai Okay, sir. So, oh, displacement reaction. Yes, yes. But now you are putting it. Aqueous nitrate is the reagent used to test for halide ions okay so guys this is all for halogens and now let's see transition metals transition metals come transition elements we get they lie between group 2 and group 3 of the prototypal 
So this whole block is transition elements or simply called as transition metals, right? Or shrug is from act period four. So this start from period four. So basically, this is your fourth period. Actually, ab, ye, se we'll continue next. Basically, abhi hum, uh, maine ek aapko recap diya hai about uh, the group seven, right? Ke abhi toh reactions padne with metals and then displacement move on. But I hope ki ye baat hai pata nahi aapko about halogens. Why? Because these things are not in the books, and then we ask in the papers too sometimes. And next, what we'll do is that we'll do the reactions of halogens and then we'll do transition metals. Anything clear at the moment? No, sir. Allah happy birthday. Okay. Thank sir. you, Bacha. Ji, Bacha. Sir, have a test tomorrow? No, no, no. I'll test. I'll take the test after, uh, I mean, after this chapter, the period table. Sir, you told us that halogens with hydrogen, sir, you wrote it. Sir, कोई भी अगर हम हाइड्रोजन को हाइड्रोजन के साथ रिएक्ट करेंगे तो वो कुछ सो so, जैसे आपने ये करा था H2 Cl2 2HCl सर so, इधर में कंफ्यूज हो गया सर आप समझ नहीं लगे कुछ ओके सो बेसिकली मैंने ये कहा था मैंने तब मैंने ये बात कही थी मैं फिर बात आपको रिपीट करता हूं सारे हैलोजेंस फ्लोरीन क्लोरीन ब्रोमीन आयोडीन एसिटीन ये सारे एलिमेंट्स हाइड्रोजन से रिएक्ट करके हाइड्रोजन हैलाइड देते हैं जिसना हाइड्रोजन प्लस फ्लोरीन गिव्स यू हाइड्रोजन फ्लोराइड Hydrogen plus chlorine gives you hydrogen chloride. Hydrogen plus bromine gives you hydrogen bromide. Hydrogen plus acetine gives you hydrogen acetide. Like when it's exemplify here with Cl2, the hydrogen plus chlorine gives you hydrogen chloride, HCl. When I say that HCl is white fumes, it is gaseous. Sare hydrogen halides are white fumes, it is gaseous. Okay? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Sir, if the online people want to give the test, so what is the procedure for that? <clears throat> Basically, whenever the test happens, I recommend that you come on campus and take the test and not online. I don't recommend online. So, sir, what if it's not possible for the online student to come to the you? academy? Sir, because I'm out of the city most of the time, sir. It's like very difficult for me to come to okay Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, sir my sir my friend Jan Tarek wants to know when your next class will be okay so basically the next class of course will be monday like in, there is a great possibility i'll take the class on saturday Jain Tarek, sir. Okay, sir, thank you okay <laughs> thank you guys thank you very much take care keep smiling my Can next class has started नहीं नहीं अभी टेस्ट नहीं है टेस्ट होगा इस चैप्टर के बाद जब मैं चैप्टर खत्म कर दूंगा नेक्स्ट वीक में टेस्ट आएगा फिर ऑडिटिबल के बाद हमने ऑर्गेनिक करनी है नहीं ऑडिटिबल हम करेंगे ऑर्गेनिक आएगी वीकेंड के ऊपर मेरे बच्चा नेक्स्ट वीकेंड से ऑर्गेनिक शुरू होगी और शुक्र जी बच्चा एक्सक्यूज मी सर सर आई वांटेड टू आस्क यू अबाउट द रिकॉर्डिंग ऑफ 20th जनवरी 